Twitter recently added a new feature to TweetDeck, custom timelines. And what custom timelines allow you to do is to collate some tweets on a specific topic. So it could be tweets from a tweet chat or a conference, or maybe just an interesting conversation you had on Twitter. Today I'm going to show you how you can create one within TweetDeck. In order to create a custom timeline, you'll need to open a TweetDeck account. But that only takes a minute, you just need to enter your Twitter ID and your password to get in. Once you get in, it's this symbol on the left hand side here with the little spanner. If you click on that, you can create your first custom timeline. First thing you need to do is give it a name. Now I'm going to create a timeline for our Twitter chat, our monthly talking sock. and specifically for the February one. You can also add a description here. Now to create the timeline, you need to drag tweets into here. And for me to be able to find the correct tweets, I need to create a new search column for Talking Sock. So I click on the plus here, click on search, and Talking Sock. So I'm going to start with this question that we put to the people on the chat. Now if I want to add it here, I just need to click onto this little cross with the arrows on and bring it in. And now I can add other comments in. And as you can see, they appear in chronological order, so the most recent ones pop up at the top. Once you've finished creating your timeline, you can share it. And to do that, you just click on this little symbol at the top and click on share. Now you can either embed it on your website, you can view it on Twitter, or you can tweet about it. So first off, I'm going to tweet about it. And you can see it's made a tweet for me, advertising my timeline. Now obviously I'm going to get more traction if I customize this. And to view it on Twitter, click on share, and view on twitter.com. And there you can see there's the three tweets that I've added so far. So this is one I've created for a, a specific Twitter conversation, but you might want to collate some tweets from your favorite tweeters, or maybe the best links that you've seen in the day. Or even if you're at a conference, you might want to grab your favorite tweets from a conference. There's lots of reasons that you could use this application.